Guys, I told you there would be shit posts. Now, if I'm gonna tell you guys how I got back into Pokemon, I kind of, I kind of gotta tell you how I got out of it. So I've always been a big Pokemon fan, but there's just those stages in life where all of a sudden you're not doing Pokemon anymore. You're never a person who dislikes Pokemon, but there is gonna be a time where you're not into Pokemon. For me, it was that great old time of being an eighth grader, going through several phases in life, and basically. Basically how I got out of Pokemon was because in eighth grade I was completely not myself anymore and I even sold my entire Pokemon collection to my friend Ian for a hundred dollars so I could buy clothes. I was that retarded. Now obviously I definitely learned from that mistake as you'll hear later on in the video, but just me selling my entire collection and not only that, in 2013 that was when X and Y was released and X at the time was currently the worst game ever released. I actually hated that Pokemon game so much. It was the only Pokemon game that I played through one time and then never picked it up again. That thing has not been in my DS that's by the way which is the like 10 years old now has not been in my DS since I completed that game. So kind of with all those things mixed together with me being an angsty teenager, you know, I just turned 13. It, I, I kind of like grew out of Pokemon at that time. But meanwhile, while I was a kid, I always had this dream of eventually buying a booster box. And at the time, the booster box that I wanted so much was Plasma Storm because in 2013, that was the most recent set that was released. I was so so in love with it. I remember my mom buying me packs from Target and I would always open them up and the plasma cards were so cool because there would just be uncommons in the set and commons that would be team plasma cards and they were amazing. My childhood dream was to always own a booster box. Now let's fast forward all the way to February of 2020 when the idea of Pokemon got planted into my head again. So this all started one day where I was counting all my money and making sure it was all there and I had a, like a few thousand dollars and at the time I was thinking man I would have killed to have this money as a kid, but now I'm 18 years old and I'm just letting it sit here and collect dust. I don't buy anything. I, I don't allow myself to buy anything. I'm hoarding money, which led me to the thought of what would I have actually spent this money on if I was a kid, but I had this money as a kid. And the first thing that I immediately thought of was Pokemon booster boxes. And so of course with me having the memory of Plasma Storm, fresh in my brain. I look up the price for a plasma storm booster box. Shit's over a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Those little $4 packs my mom used to buy me in Target are, are selling for over a hundred dollars each now. How ridiculous is that? And then I looked at a few other things like old Spider-Man comic books, but mainly I was just thinking about Pokemon. And now that Pokemon was planted in my head, that was kind of what I would think about every so often the next month or so. And then I think around in March, I was finally like, I want to get some Pokemon card and see, see what it's about. And I decided to go about this smartly though I didn't want to go in and spend a hundred dollars on a booster box and then may have the potential of not liking it so I decided to start really small I gave myself a $20 cap and what I did was I bought a Pokemon theme deck so at least I could get into playing the game again but too bad coronavirus started by the time I actually bought this stuff and I couldn't play with anybody and then I bought a Kanto and friends tin which comes with two booster packs and in those two booster packs packs the first pack i opened in over seven years no no more like over six years i got a kiram ex which was so freaking cool now i really don't care about the card the card isn't even cool or special but it was just so cool that my first pack i got an ex card and then a few weeks went by and i eventually bought some more pokemon cards and then i even started playing the games again i even downed it loaded an emulator on my pc and i've played through fire red version 2 times already beating the champion twice you know that Gar gary that little bitch I'm, I'm sorry gary man it's really rough for gary he just becomes champion and then and then a few minutes later you come up and literally take the 
That, that shit's messed up. And at the time while I was getting back into Pokemon, I actually started a second channel to just do Pokemon. This was kind of a very confusing time for me because I didn't know what I wanted to do on YouTube anymore. I, I knew I wanted to do Pokemon, but for some reason, I didn't want to do it on my main channel. But then I thought of how that literally made no sense in that I'm contradicting myself that I'm not even learning from the stuff that I've done in the past. In the past, I quit COD Zombies and went to Fortnite because I genuinely didn't enjoy COD Zombies anymore. This is the same exact instance where I don't enjoy Fortnite anymore and I found something I did like, but I started a second channel for it. I decided that I need to switch to Pokemon content for my mental health and for my channel health. Which I'm really glad that I made that decision. That was one of the best decisions I made because a lot of you guys, my supporters, my friends, I've never heard you guys talk about Pokemon before. And then all of a sudden, like everybody in my community is talking about Pokemon and it just feels so freaking good. Like people in my discord are sending pictures of their collections to me. And I just thought that was so awesome. And I feel like I, I help people do what happened to me. I help people get back into Pokemon and maybe I didn't I I would like to think that maybe I just reminded you guys of a fond memory and you guys got back into it I I feel like that's really cool and really special that we could all kind of experience that feeling together anyways guys I really hope you enjoyed the shit post video you know third day of 13 14 days in nerd it's not 13 days in nerd period I swear it's 14 it's 14 this time but yeah third day of 14 days in nerd period I think it's going pretty well so far I'm enjoying this I know this run of 14 days of nerd period will be way less stressful than the last one anyways guys if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and comment if i helped you get back into pokemon or not or if you've gotten back into pokemon recently make sure you turn on notifications so you can see all the notifications for the next you know 12 days quick maps anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i love you all and peace